Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. If you're new here, I'm Naima and I make cooking videos. So today I'm making a homemade pizza recipe. I already made a video on how to make a pizza dough. So if you haven't watched this video, I suggest you watch it before you watch this video. I'll put the link in the top right corner. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing first, I'm going to knead my dough. For that, I'm going to spread a lot of flour in my counter and I'm going to knead my dough for about 5 minutes. It's very important to knead the dough before you spread out. So after kneading my dough, I'm going to divide it into three portions using a knife or something sharp. I'm only going to use one portion to make this pizza recipe. So I'm going to shape it into a bowl and make sure to get enough flour underneath to keep it from sticking. Now I'm going to flatten the dough into a circle shape using my fingers. Add flour underneath to keep from sticking and add flour on top of your dough. So when my dough is halfway flat, I'm going to do circular motion with my hands, as you can see. That's allowed to extend the dough and have a circular shape. My pizza dough is in good shape, I'm going to reserve that for later and now I'm going to show you the ingredients you'll need to garnish your pizza. The ingredients you'll need are mozzarella cheese, emmental cheese, white mushrooms, smoked chicken, fresh tomatoes that I grate, black olives and olive oil so for the spices you're going to need dry thyme white paper dried oregon and some salt now i'm going to grate my mozzarella cheese and after, I'm going to grate my emmental cheese. Once I'm done grating my cheeses, I'm going to chop my mushrooms and I have about 7 mushrooms.
I'm also going to cut into dices my smoked chicken. So guys, all my ingredients are ready and I'm going to show you how to make my pizza and I'm so excited to show you guys. So I'm going to season it my tomato sauce. So into my tomato, I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of dry thyme, some white paper, And one teaspoon of dried oregano and I'm going to mix together. In parallel, I'm going to fry my mushrooms. So I'm going to add one tablespoon of olive oil in my pan and I'm going to add my mushrooms. So I'm going to season it my mushrooms with some salt, some white paper, some dried oregon, and some dried thyme. And I'm going to mix together and let it cook for about to three minutes. Once the mushrooms are ready, I'm going to put them in a dish without adding the water that you can see in the pan. So guys, I'm going to use an oven tray to make my pizza. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of olive oil and I'm going to spread my oil with some paper towel. When I'm done spreading my oil, I'm going to add my pizza dough in my tray. You can also use a pizza tray to make your pizza. I think that will be the best way to make it. But me, I don't have a pizza tray, so I'm using an oven tray. Now, I'm going to add my pizza toppings in my dough. I'm going to add my tomato sauce that I mixed earlier and spread it in the pizza dough. I feel like when there is a lot of tomato sauce in the pizza dough, it tastes so, so good. And that is my personal opinion, but add a good amount of tomato sauce if you want your pizza to taste good and juicy. And I use two fresh tomatoes to make my tomato sauce. After, I'm going to add my mushrooms and spread it. Now I'm adding the smoked chicken and I'm adding the half of what I cut because I'm going to use the rest later. Now it becomes interesting. So I'm going to add my emmental cheese and spread it again. After adding my emmental cheese, I'm going to add my mozzarella cheese. 
And let me tell you that you always add more mozzarella cheese than Emmental cheese. And I'm going to add the rest of my smoked chicken and if you don't want to add smoked chicken you can add smoked turkey, smoked pork, whatever you want but me I'm not using pork because I'm Muslim. Now I'm going to add my black olives and I cut them in half. Last but not least, you're going to add your favorite spice for pizza. So I'm going to add my Oregon spice, the dried one. And I'm going to spread it out and that is all for the toppings. So I'm done garnishing my pizza, so I'm going to put it in the oven at 190 degrees Celsius for 10 to 12 minutes. And I'm using an electric oven, but if you have a gas oven, you're going to bake your pizza at 180 degrees Celsius for 8 to 10 minutes. And that is basically it guys, the pizza is ready, take a look please. And it is juicy and so delicious when you eat and it's so simple and easy to make. So that is all guys for my pizza recipe. I hope you liked it. If you do so, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. And also turn on your notification to see more content. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!